everyone, and thank you for joining me in another anime figure opening video today. Today, we're going to be looking at a bit of a special figure. We're going to take a look at the Q Posket Ram second version figure. The second version is a special version. Now, I'll be honest, there were two of two versions for this figure. One had a black dress, as you would expect from Ram, and then also this one that had the red dress. And as soon as I saw this one, I was like, right, this is the one I'm getting. So today we're going to be reviewing this figure. So let's kick things off by taking a look at the box. So first of all, as you can see, we have our ReZero logo here at the top. We also have our Banpresto logo there. Down here we have a Bandai logo. There's a lot of logos on here. We also have like Kadokawa kind of information down there with Bandai Spirits, blah, blah, blah. And then of course we have our RAM on the front. Now, Kuposket is very, very famous for making figures that have really, really big heads, really, really big eyes, and bodies that are very disproportionate. But overall, I think they're pretty cute figures, so I'm hoping that this one keeps up to that standard. Um, you can see down here we have Kuposket, ReZero, blah, 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 and then Kuposket Ram version 2. Again, there are two versions, and if we look at the side, this is what I mean. There was the A version, the black version, which is the normal Ram, and then there is also this red one. And it just seemed a little bit cuter, so of course I wanted to go for this one. And there's a little bit of information down there in Japanese and a website. And this website will take you to the Kupos get figures, so you can have a look to see what figures they have available. We have about seven or eight figures here, and when we put this one on the shelf, I will show you some of those. But yeah, they're pretty, pretty cool too, I think. And over here we have Ram's head in a little frame. This is really, really cool because some of it's actually coming out of the frame. I do like that a lot. Um, but this frame also has a beautiful pattern to it. It's got this wonderful stripe in the background, which makes this kind of stand out a little bit more. And if we look carefully at the box, it has this very, very regal pattern to it. Um, I didn't point it out earlier because I kind of wanted to come to it a little bit later, but you can see that all the way around here, everywhere. But moving to the bottom of the box, we have all of our safety information here. Um, there's a lot of information there. And then at the top, we just have Ram with Kuposket there. Again, that looks really, really cute. I like that. Um, but we also have another logo for Jaya Prize. So that's Jaya Prize, ReZero, Ban Presto, Bandai. God, it's Logo City. <laughs> okay, let's get this figure open. Okay, so coming in with the knife. Now the reason we're opening the RAM first and not the REM is because I've opened up a lot of REM figures recently and again I don't want this channel just becoming REM figures. I kind of want to open up a little bit. Um, RAM isn't much of a change because it's still ReZero, um, but this is adorable so let's have a look. What do we got? Oh, cardboard! Wow, every figure I've opened up recently has had cardboard in it. Interesting. Okay, inside we have a lot of stuff. Oh, wow, Jesus. Okay, it looks like we have a head, a stand, and also the body. So let me get this all unpackaged. One second. Wow, that's creepy. Okay, stand. And here is our stand. And first of all, this stand is tiny. I mean, what is this, a stand for ants? This is such a small stand. Um, now, of course, that makes sense because the figure itself is also very, very small. Um, so they don't need anything massive. Oh, God, my fingerprints are already on there. Ugh, that's gross. <laughs> but as you can see, there are two holes here. We have the Kuposket logo. I have to change the angle because it's really difficult to see black in this light. Um, and then it also has this wonderful, absolute stunning pattern going all the way around the rim here. That's very, very pretty. I do like that a lot. Oh, my God, I like that. Oh, so pretty. Um, and then, sorry, yeah, anyway, the stand. On the back, we have a little bit of information here, um, which isn't too much detail. I didn't think TNK ReZero. God, they love that ReZero. Um, Bandai Spirits made in China. And there's even the Bandai logo there. That's cool. And the two dots for the holes on the stand, which are here. But yeah, tiny, tiny stand. So let's put you down. Gently. And then the Ram figure herself, and she comes in two parts. We have this stunning body, and we have this massive head. And again, this has a little point here which comes out, which looks creepy as hell. And the head, so we put this in here like so. And voila, we have a figure. 
So let's start by taking a look at her face. So as you can see, the eyes on this figure are absolutely massive, and there is so much more detail to these eyes than there are on most other figures. First of all, they have a glossy sheen to them. You can see the light is being picked up there. Um, and also these eyes look like they are from kind of a doll that you would buy a kid in a shop. Um, so it's pretty interesting. There's also a nice kind of pattern there on the eye too. There's a lot of detail. The eyebrows are massively, uh, well, very, very nicely detailed here with the eyelashes. Um, and the other one is hidden underneath this hair, which is kind of a waste, but at least it keeps with the ram theme. But also her nose sticks out a tiny bit, and actually it looks a little bit cuter than a lot of the other figures, and her mouth has a very basic smile to it. But again, a lot more detail than we would expect on most other figures. Now I briefly mentioned her hair covering her eye, but her hair has actually a lot more detail to it than you would expect. All of these strands covering actually come down kind of separately, um, which is pretty interesting. Um, and actually it takes up like 80% of the head. That's quite a lot of head that it's taking up. Um, but at least it is covering the eye, which is important for a Rembram figure, I feel. Um, there is also a few layers going on here. We have a bottom layer here, which is being hidden underneath this top layer going to the side. She also has this kind of cross here holding her hair in place, so wonderful, wonderful design choice there. The hair here is nice and flat, so very well trimmed. She also has this beautiful pattern here, which is the same on all of our Rem and Ram figures. Uh, this is very symbolic of them. Um, she has this beautiful headband going all the way around. Again, beautiful detail here. And we saw this on the, our other Rem figure that we opened recently. That wasn't Q Posket, that was a different brand. I can't remember from the top of my head, so I will put that in the bottom somewhere around here so we can see. Um, but this also is very, very pretty, and that goes underneath the hair, which is important. The other one did not do that, so it actually looks like it is holding the hair there. She also has her ear hidden underneath here, and we can't see that too well because the hair is solid in the way, and that is the same over here. Oh no, we can see this a little bit. Um, so there's an ear. And then she has just one solid piece coming down the back, kind of coming into one kind of terminal or terminus here, which is these little points coming off. So yeah, the head's very, very pretty. I mean, it's very, very big and disproportionate to the body, but it does look quite cute. Okay, let's move to the body. Okay, and moving down her body, there is a hell of a lot to talk about. So let's try and go into as much detail as we can. As you can see, her hands are together here, praying. Um, I'm not too sure why her hands are together like this. It does look very inviting and very welcoming, so it's kind of, I guess, a cute addition. Um, one big thing I want to point out is the color on this dress is actually very different to the color on this box. This is quite red here. Um, I'll just lift this up for you. And this is more of a burgundy crimson color. So that feels a little misleading. Perhaps the lighting is different, um, but I was hoping that it was going to be this nice, very strong red colour, not this kind of more crimsony, familiarly colour. Um, so that's a kind of small shame, but it also looks very, very pretty too. So I can't complain too much. But as you can see, she has her made ruffle here at the top around her neck, which also has a little bow on it. This has a beautiful texture going all the way around. And as you can see, it's like this. Um, you can also see that her made dress has a few kind of shoulder ruffles here too. And then the arms are on separate to the rest of the body. These have this white kind of uh, bit at the top here. Um, again, I don't know the word for that. But then this also comes down into the kind of more open space here at the cuff. And then the cuff itself has this beautiful kind of ruffle to it too. Um, it feels rough when I touch it, but I'm sure that that's actually probably very soft if it was a real made dress. Um, and that is the same on the other arm over here. You can also see inside that her bust also has this kind of rough kind ofness to the top. There's a tiny little bow if the camera will look at it. Um, getting a good angle. There we go. That's much better. God, that's creepy. Uh, you can see there's a little bow there. So yeah, that's tiny. Um, put the head back on um, because uh, consistency is good. And then moving down the dress, we have this little front bit here on the made dress along with a beautiful red line going around. Um, at the back, she has these two parts coming off. These are stunning, actually. I love these a lot. These are very, very pretty. And then she has this white bow here, as well as this kind of red cross in the background. Um, of course, keeping her dress in place. But then moving to the skirt itself, it has this wonderful, wonderful pattern going all the way around the bottom. There are two layers here, one, two, three if you include this. 
It has a nice kind of silver trim going all the way around the side. That is all the way there. Um, so very, very pretty bottom part of this dress. And also there are some natural folds here. So I think that's very, very pretty too. So wonderful, wonderful dress. And then moving to her legs, as you can see, she has these thigh high stockings going up. We're not going to look at the pants because again, I don't like that creepiness. But these have again, a jaggedy pattern at the top and the bottom. Again, with our red dots going around the side here. Got the focus is terrible. And then that is the same over here. Uh, sorry if my hands are shaky. I have been holding figures for the past couple of hours and yeah, I'm getting a bit tired. So <laughs> apologies for that. Um, but then moving down to her shoes, these shoes don't have too much detail to them, but they are a beautiful color. Again, they have that kind of smartness to them. The sole itself is also in a separate kind of pattern to the rest of the shoe, which is nice. And then over here, as you can see, we have the soles of the shoe there um, with these two white points sticking out, which will go into the stand. So let's get our ram into her stand. One second. And here she is in her stand. And wow, this is very, very pretty. I do love this. Um, sorry, my adjective usage seems to have kind of dropped in this video. I don't know why. There's a pretty, adorable. Uh, anyway, maybe I'm getting a bit tired. <laughs> But what a wonderful, wonderful figure. And again, she is tiny. She's not the biggest figure, but all of these Q Posket figures are quite short. And I'll show you some of the others when we finish off this video. But for now, let's have a few pretty shots of this ram. Let's take a look. Okay, let's go to your home. Here we go. So yeah, this is a beautiful, beautiful ram figure. Wow, you can see the glossiness in those eyes. Those eyes are beautiful. What a stunning figure. We're gonna put you over here um, next to the Tangelo figure we opened recently. Um, but as I mentioned, I wanted to show you some of the other uh, Q Posket figures we have. My wife is a big fan of the Precure series. So we do have a few of the older uh, Precure figures around here. Um, you can't really see them because they're kind of hidden behind. Maybe if I move them out of the way. Um, and maybe we'll do a review video of these one day uh, because these are very, very cute too. Um, but there you go. There are a few cute posket figures and I think this ram goes nicely with the rest of them. <laughs> now we do have the rem to open and that one we will open probably very, very soon. Hopefully using the roulette. But for now, Thank you again for tuning into today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do give us a like and please subscribe for more videos coming soon. Thank you all so much. I really do appreciate you coming to these videos. Sometimes I feel like I do waffle on a lot, like right now, but uh, I do appreciate it. So thank you all once again. One more kind of shout out. If you have any figures that you want to see opened on this channel, please let me know and I'll try my best to get hold of them. So love you all and see you all in another anime figure opening video coming very, very soon. Okay, bye.
Thank you.